Hi, I'm Richard Blumenthal, your United States Senator. So proud and excited to welcome you to the Yale School of Music's Symposium on Music in the Schools. This event is due in part to the generosity of the Yale Class of 57, and I want to thank them for providing the investment. It's really an investment in our nation's future, our young people, and music in our schools. Music, of course, is vital to who we are as human beings, as a nation, as a culture. It enriches our lives individually, but it also brings us together. It uh, means lives of activism, contemplation, and study. And I want to single out New Haven for not only developing but sustaining programs of music and integrating those programs into the curricula. It's really a model for what schools across Connecticut and the country should do. So I'm especially proud to introduce this next session, Voices of New Haven Public School Students and Graduates. Their incredible talent and gifts are a tribute to their hard work, but also to their mentors, teachers, supporters, and thanks to the Yale School of Music for highlighting some extraordinary leaders and gifted artists, and now let's listen to them. Hi, my name is Elio, and I'm nine years old. I am just finishing fourth grade, and I really like soccer, basketball, art, and music. Music is that I am creative about. At home, I like to sing and play the clarinet in my, in my room. Sometimes I make sure, make, make music for my puppy Noah. This year, I was part of a choir that met on Zoom. We were all different ages and, and different schools. One thing I liked was our teacher, Ms. Stephanie, taught us about notes, which was cool because the next day, I learned about notes from my school music teacher. One thing I'm really looking forward to next year is being able to play with the other kids in my school in the auditorium. When you play with other people, you can't just go on your own thing. You have to pay attention to what's happening in the group. One thing I like about music is that it calms me down, like I can flow into music. Sometimes I sing to calm down. Music gives me happiness and emotions, and I can go on to my own world. Hi, I'm Aiden. I am 10 years old. I go to Worthington Hooker School. What I feel about music is very emotional, happy, and sad. When I am sad, the music comforts me somehow. I started music at the age of four for violin, and then after one year, I started playing piano at the age of five. Music is a very fun thing for me, too. For piano, a few pieces make me fly. What I mean by fly is a piece or song that really gets into you. For example, for me, it's Chopin on piano. Sometimes, when I'm done with my practice, I call my mom to listen to me playing Chopin. Then I tell her that I'm going to be a bird and that she should come onto my wings and I need to play without mistakes or else my mom will fall off. I don't want that to happen. Now, I will talk about the violin. I'm playing piece right now, a piece that I like very much. It is Spring from Four Seasons by Antonio Vivaldi. I really like the dynamics that Vivaldi put in, and I like the part where there are birds. They sound so realistic, and I feel very joyful. And in the part where there is thunder, I feel a lot of tension. It is very powerful. The person that has played a big role in my music is my dad. Sometimes he knows that I can do better, and then he really pushes me on that. It's not easy, but I know it's for my music. A lot of people ask me if I like violin or piano better, and to be honest, I don't really have a specific choice. Even though I did start violin before piano, I love them both equally. 
Hi, I'm Marnielle. I'm 19 years old and I sing and play the viola. Hi, I'm Nick Daniel. Um, I am 17 years old. I sing and I used to play the trumpet and clarinet. And this is our music ecosystem. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this all started um, in the womb from yes. our mother, yes. Marjorie Charles. As well. She would <laughs> she would play <laughs> classical music for me um, while like I was in her stomach so that I don't even know why she did it. But I guess she like did some research and thought, wow, this is good for my kid. It must have been the pastor's um, wife. Yeah. Probably. It must have been the pastor's wife. Yeah. But she only did it for me because I'm the best. And First. um <clears throat> the best. First. And um after that, she just neglected the four of them, because the, there's five <laughs> of us. Um, and focused solely on me because I am the best. First. Um, Emphasis on the first. And because there's five of us, uh, and we all just somehow became musically inclined. Like we all ended up liking music and we all ended up singing together, mm -hmm. um, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, so because we all had that passion, um, there'd be times when my sister would call us into a room while she's cleaning and she'd turn on the radio. She'd bribe us with the music. It was, it was crazy. Like, hey guys, um, come help me with my room. My room's dirty. And then we'd be on the PS3, like playing Black Ops. And then we'd be like, no, we're playing Black Ops. And then she'd say, but guys, I'll put on music. And then we were like, okay, fine. They and love then, dance parties. Yeah, yeah we it, love was, dance it was really parties. great. Um, a little while later, um, we formed a group called C5. Um, you know, our last names are all Charles and there are five of us. So, you know, C5 and it, it works. It it's really sense. nice. Um, our, our church doesn't really get it though. Um, they just call us Le Chal. Yeah, it's a French speaking Baptist church, but yeah, it's... Yeah. yeah. Speaking of French, <laughs> we, um, from the moment we could talk, um, we were thrown into the children's choir every Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, so not only were we singing songs in English, we were singing songs in French and in Creole. So we aren't fluent because we didn't practice, yeah, but proficient. Proficient. we are proficient, mediocre Haitian <laughs> kids who can sing in Creole well, but can't really speak it. Right. right. Unfortunately. Yes. Um, so, um, after that, we, um, I was, well, both of us were put, all, all three of us, four of us were put into New Haven Public Schools. And I was um, introduced to my third grade choir teacher, or I guess music teacher. And she was very, very supportive. We did things like music theory, um, you know, soul fetch, everything. And then she introduced me to, I guess, the mother, like our mother of music. Our choir mother. Yeah. The um, queen. She really helped us get through everything in music um, and is the reason that we, we are here now. Um, and that's when we, you know, we were in a group um, called Morse Chorale. And it's a summer music academy. And, you know, it happens during the summer. And there's also um, a school year program. Too. Yes. Um, that's really where we got the bulk of our. Um, that was the foundation of our right. group. Right. Um, I ended up learning viola from um, New Haven Public Schools um, when I started in fourth grade. Um, I realized that, like, from my singing background, that the viola is sort of like the alto voice. And I mm -hmm. was like, well, that's perfect. Done deal. I'm set. And now I'm going to college for music education and viola performance at the Hart School yes. um, in the University of Hartford. So, like, clearly there was a plan for me to sing and play viola because look yeah. where I am now. And you know, teach. so pretty much all my life I've been following Mario. Like um, a duck. Not a duck. Quack. quack. Just like um, just like a younger brother <laughs> following <laughs> his younger sister. Um, and I am also going into music education and vocal performance. Um, he didn't stay with the clarinet. <laughs> <laughs> That's OK. That's because when I was younger, um, the teachers and well, the band teachers kept switching um, and I really didn't get a lot of, ex well, so every time the band teacher um, switched, um, we just start from the beginning and I always got the basics. And actually that's really part of the reason why, you know, our end goal is to um, so start a music, a music business. A music school, art school. Yeah. Like our high school and neighborhood music school. It's like it's an art school, and we just want to like help kids be able to have the access that we didn't really get um, growing up as musicians. Yeah. Um, 
So we hope you enjoyed learning about us and we thank you for hearing about our music ecosystem. Thank you. Hello, um, I'm Eva and today I'm gonna to be speaking about like my life as a musician in general. So in the fourth grade, I was scrolling through YouTube one day and I found this instrument, um, happened to be the French horn. And I clicked on it because like the shape and how much tubes and valves it had, it just amazed me. So I clicked on it right away and I started playing it. Like um, I was amazed, like, I, I didn't know what to say because I've never been introduced to a French horn in my life. And you know, I, I wondered if I can play it one day and that was the end of fourth, like fourth grade starting up. Fifth grade came and my band teacher actually recommended the French horn for me. Um, he thought it would fit me well and I actually really wanted to play the French horn. So I went for it. I was really super happy with myself. And um, when I first, um, when I brought it home, my mom actually wanted me to pick a smaller instrument. Um, I actually fought for it and Today, my mom is one of my biggest supporters when it comes to playing the French horn today. So my journey, fifth grade, um, I went through a lot of progress. I mean, um, my old band teacher, he introduced me to a lot of things. I had lessons um, after school with um, a private lesson teacher or whatever. And sixth grade, following up, um, he actually let me audition for um, CMEA, Southern Regionals, and it was, I got in um, fifth chair that year, and I, like, when I got in, I felt like I was home, like, I felt like I fit, fit in, in general, everyone just loved what they were doing, and I, I fell in love, so, um, I also went to Honors Van in Hartford, I enjoyed that a lot, um, it was a big place, really fun, and, um, I always loved doing programs and music in general. So I did Morse Academy um, and that's it for my sixth grade year. Seventh grade, I actually, you know, started just, um, I did regionals again and my old band teacher left and I had a new one. He let me do regionals and like, I couldn't be proud of myself. I got first chair that year for band, so. I did that, I practiced a lot. Um, I still had my lessons and it was my first year in all city in seventh grade. And you know, it's the same feeling I had at regionals. I felt like I belonged there so badly. Like I had a connection with music. I just didn't know it. And you know, and instead of just playing the French horn I've always wanted to play more than just the French horn in general. Like, um, I play trumpet for jazz band, um, seventh and eighth, and I teach myself piano and electric guitar. Um, music has always been an inspiration towards me a lot. And it, it helps me cope a lot because this year has been really tough, especially um, through quarantine. Um, I hit, hit a small dark place and like, I didn't know what to do for a while and it, it helps me go through it. And my my nephew, he loves me playing. I mean, he's also my little um little supporter. He I teach him sometimes piano and I just can't wait. Um and then this year I actually am going to ECA for high school. Really proud of myself. And music teaches you how to be a good person in general. It teaches you lessons. It teaches you to be confident, like in all city or in regionals. Um, it, it like it teaches you to help others in many ways and express yourself. Um, because you know, when you play, you, you can just change somebody's day by just playing and giving them that nice, um, nice romantic piece or that enthusiastic march. So that's my musician life. Hello, my name is Jocelyn Hernandez and I am a music educator in New Haven Public Schools District. I started my journey in music at Dante Daniels School in the fifth grade when I started studying the clarinet. 
I had lots of music opportunities throughout my New Haven education, including in school, after school, and summer programs. At each part of my journey, I was encouraged by my teachers, mentors, friends, and community. I was able to learn different aspects of music and how music brings together a community, no matter the background. The different support systems helped me realize that music education is a valuable skill and my path led me into the world of music education. Today, I am a music educator at the same school where I first started learning music. As a teacher, I use my classroom as a mini learning ecosystem, using music to inspire my students to believe in themselves, to learn that each of us has a voice to use and share with others. 